We are on a Cisco Catalyst switch and we're going to go ahead and create a DHCP pool to work. So we've got a VLAN, if we do a show VLAN command, we've got a VLAN uh, called 100. And you can see it's applied to our gigabit ethernet port 1047. So that particular IP address is 100 100 100 .1. So we're going to go ahead and create a DHCP pool that will be applied towards the VLAN 100. So all we have to do is go into global configuration mode and then we can get started. So let's type in IP DHCP pool and then we'll just call it uh, for VLAN 100. You can call it anything. This is just an, uh, the name part doesn't actually cause it to be applied to anything. Now we're going to type in the network, and we already know that our VLAN is 100.100.100, and then we'll put in .0 because it's a slash 24 subnet mask, and we'll put in 255.255.255.0. So what this is going to do is start creating IP addresses available on this network. So since VLAN 100 is already .1, it will start uh, with .2 and create uh, these particular uh, DHCP um, client leases. Now we want to tell where the default route is for this particular uh, pool. So we'll type in default dash router 100.100.100.1 and then we're going to put in uh, DNS so it can resolve IPs and names. So we'll put type DNS dash server and we'll just use a public DNS server out there like Google's and we're good. So now you don't have to actually apply this to any particular interface. What it'll do is it will match up uh, the VLAN that you already have assigned to the same network. So if anybody plugs into port 47, because that's what uh, VLAN 100 is tied to, it will automatically get a, a, a DHCP IP address uh, from this pool called VLAN 100. There are some additional things that you can do as well uh, with uh, the DHCP and you're certainly welcome to do that. You can see the DNS server we did, default router we did, but there's a lot of other things that you can do in case uh, you need to do that. So um, that's uh, about it for creating a DHCP scope um, on the Cisco Catalyst switch.